take and loss to here. Uh, they were in at 21-19 up until halftime, and then, uh, as we said, Springfield outscored Lincoln 31-14 to in the second half, and that uh, is what did the Lady Railers in. Coach Richmond, uh, welcome. You got, can you hear us? Yes. You know, okay. Uh, you know, we were talking about X's and O's and things that go and don't go. The, the first half, I mean, tell us about it. We're, we're, things were going well. We were right there. Um, I really thought in the first half, you know, we played our defense the way that we practiced playing our defense. We ran our offenses. Um, we worked the ball real well. We were able to get real good looks. Um, I, we were pulling down boards. We were running the floor real well. I thought that the first half was a great half. Oh, it was a good half. Um, absolutely. So we right in the ball game. It absolutely. Was, it was wonderful. And then you go in at halftime. The girls have to be excited. They have to be confident. Yes. That things are going our way. Absolutely. And we step right back out on the court to start the second half, and we have an early foul. That I, I didn't feel like that was our – I didn't like it, but then they went down and made points. Yeah, and things went, things just started to go wrong there. Yeah, you know, sometimes that snowball effect, one bad thing yes. happens and then something else. Uh, tried to call a few timeouts to settle them down a little bit. Uh, it just didn't go our way in the second half. They upped the pressure. They started trapping us. I think we turned the ball over a few too many times in the second half. We weren't getting the looks that we wanted. Um, they ran the floor on us. Now they, they split our guards at the top in the half court, and they were able to get into the paint. Um, just need to do a little bit better job moving our feet, especially in the half court. Well, it's a, they're a good ball club. Yeah, I mean, they're a great. Oh, they're that's, a great that's a good ball club. Yeah, um, and they they did it. They have they have all the things. They have inside. I mean, Absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to mess her name up again. But the Pulliam girl. Yes, Montiano. she's an excellent player. Yes. Mm -hmm. excellent See, player. She's good at it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's good. She even popped out early and hit a three early yep. in the game. So. Yep. Oh, she yeah, she can shoot from just about anywhere on the floor. She can drive dish post up we just say you player. have to watch her all over the floor yep. not just inside yep i thought she got some valuable time from schneider tonight she mm -hmm. stepped in and got involved in the so middle too. And, and blocked it a good job absolutely. inside um absolutely you no know, froby did a good job of penetrating and, and yes. just she gets inside and she knows to get that ball up yeah i thought a few times we could have had some foul shots we didn't get and yeah then, um so and then again I, I always i know i say it all the time but those shots that just dink around up there and don't go know. <laughs> they'll start to fall I, I i believe that they'll start to fall you know Shooters got to shoot, and yep. right now our shooters are in a slump. We'll work our way out. That's yes, exactly right. You know, right. just like a hitter, you gotta just gotta keep shooting, keep doing it, and shooters they'll start. Shoot. They'll right. start falling. <laughs> so uh, the the girls' attitudes, how are they after the game? This um, one hurt a little bit. It did. I think it stung a little bit because they played so hard, and I know they really wanted it, and you could really see that, especially in the first half, how hungry they were for this win. Um, just didn't go our way. So back to work on Monday and. Get ready for MacArthur Thursday. Yeah, absolutely. We led 15 to 10 after Schneider hit a couple free throws, but then, uh, as you said, first half 21-19, we're only down by two. Yeah. Springfield comes out, scores the first eight points of the second half, and that sort of That's derailed us yeah, a little bit. I think so. So, uh, as far as the shooters and, and the balls not falling, was that something we're not doing, or could, do you credit Springfield's defense for that, or a little bit of both? Um, I don't think that we were setting screens the way that we needed to be. I didn't think we were moving to the basketball. Uh, now, to Springfield's credit, they were trapping us. We weren't able to get the ball out of those traps a few times. They do play very good defense. Um, so a combination of both. But I, I just think that we just need to get back to work on our offense and moving the ball around, setting the screens where they should be set, and hopefully our shots start to fall. Yeah, we talked about it in the pregame. 48 is your magic number. When you've scored 48 points, you're seven and zero. Anytime you've been less than 48, you're on on ten that now. Stat? So that's a great you stat. You didn't know that. <laughs> that's a great stat. I didn't. You're right. <laughs> so, uh, so we got to hit 48. It's magic number. Yeah, 48 yes. your magic number. But uh, yeah, as we said, the first half. Were you pleased with the pace? It looked like maybe the pace was more to your liking. Absolutely. First half as opposed to the Absolutely. second half. Um, I, d you know, I think that our kids can run, and they are good at a run game. But um, I didn't want necessarily to get into a run and gun game with them because they can run too. And I think they did that on us in the second half. And we were chasing the ball. We weren't getting back. And they had a few layups on us that hurt. And you spread the zone out. And yep. that opens up for some some passes and some easy layups. So uh, anything in particular you saw you, you need to work on before your next game? Um, I think that there's... A few things that we need to work on. I think that, um, you know, we did a great job rebounding the first half. We need to be able to do that in the second half, too. 
um, moving our feet on defense. We, you could see when we started to get tired, we would reach instead of you know moving and staying in front of the kid. And the Springfield's fast and athletic, and but I think our kids can stay in front of them, and it's just something we need to work on again. Yeah, and you mentioned it earlier too about the setting the screens, trying to free yeah. the offense up. It looked Absolutely. like a few times. I remember there was one play down in the corner where. I think it was Leah Schneider set a screen and then rolled to the basket and got yeah. a, an easy layup. Mm -hmm. So a little more movement toward the basket. So you're in action again. Looks like Thursday the 12th uh, against MacArthur here at home. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about uh, MacArthur? Have you had a chance to scout them at all or look at any video? Uh, um, I haven't scouted them this year. I've been following their scores. Uh, they haven't won too many games. That's good. So um, let's keep it that way. Yeah, <laughs> I. I the girls will be pumped up for that one, hopefully, and come out. Um, this summer, they had a couple of, we played them this summer, and they had one or two decent guards, so come out, stop the guards, and... Well, you know, I said earlier... Knock down a, a few threes. It <laughs> is a, uh, this was a game of two tails, you know, the, the first yeah. half and the second half. is the first half, bam, we're right yep. there, so got to build off of that Just got to put it together now, That's four right. quarters. Build off of it and grow, and as we talked about this morning, you know, we just want to be ready tournament time. Yep. We're all right. We're getting in the Keep tournament. Keep building. We know that. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll it. be there. We'll We're be in the, the tournament. tournament. <laughs> so there you go. All right, Coach, thanks for coming thanks up. Thanks for coming. Else, I appreciate it. I don't think so. Your next action, like we said, Thursday, January 12th against MacArthur at home. Also got a game at, uh, at Southeast on the 14th. And then yeah. our next broadcast of one of your games will be at home Thursday the 19th against Lanfear. So Sounds good. We will see you in, uh, what is that, 12 days? Cool. I'm not good at math, so neither am I. Neither. <laughs> so all right. Who needs it? Let's go. Who needs it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So all right, well. Cool. Sorry you came up on the short end, but uh, yeah, we're we're I, there were a lot of positives to take away. I, I think, think so too. So, uh, I think so too. Well, they played hard, so yeah, absolutely. That's Build on it. All you can ask for. So that is Lady Railers head coach Taylor Richmond. Uh, the Lady Railers come up on the short end fifty two thirty three today against a very tough Springfield Lady Senators team. And uh, we will go ahead and send it back to the studio. And is that it for us? That's good with us. Thanks for joining us, uh, Joe Ryan, Lloyd Kirby, Mitch Douglas. Thanks for tuning in to Lady Railer Basketball. And uh, we'll see you next time on the air. That date is, Lloyd? That January is January 19th. 19th. Against Lampier. Cool. Okay. Good day. All right.